Hello YouTube, it is Everything Epan here back with another tutorial. Today we are installing Windows Vista in VMware this time and I did read your guys' comments that WinWorld uh, is back up and I'm hoping to change those links here sometime soon in the near future once uh, their website is all stable and ready to go because it just got back up but I'm not going to change them just yet because they're just getting their website back up and who knows if their links actually do work let me know in the description if they do or not in the description in the comments if they do uh, but let's go ahead and get into today's tutorial uh, we're going to open up VMware here there's going to be links in the description for VMware WinRAR and then there's two separate links for the 32-bit and 64-bit of Windows Vista but we're just going to use the 64-bit in today's video since mine is capable so we're going to create a new virtual machine and we're going to do the typical setup here and then we're going to do an installer disk image and we're going to browse for that ISO and that is located in my Windows folder here. Here's Windows Vista and we're going to use 64-bit and click open and click next and then you don't have to do this product key. Select uh, whatever version you want to do. We're going to do ultimate. I'm going to call this everything epan and click next and if it asks about a product key just click yes you do, you can do this don't show this message again click yes and then go ahead and click oh it's just asking your location click next and then store as a single file click next and then click finish and it's going to automatically power on for you so it's going to ask about removable devices um, just click OK on that and it's going to load up your files here and come up with a loading bar And once it loads up, it's going to come up with the setup screen. It may take a little bit for it to pop up. Um, you guys know how Windows Vista was. It wasn't a very stable operating system, and it wasn't a very favored operating system as well. And it's just going to go right to the installation for you with that quick installation that VMware has built in. So it's going to go through the process of copying files and all that all good stuff. So just let this sit. This can take a little bit of time um, and there will be a couple of restart points that go on. So I will be back. Uh, there should be two, maybe three restarts. Um, so I'll be back once we hit to our uh, next screen where we set up our user accounts and all that stuff. Okay, so after a while of it restarting and setting up your system, it's eventually going to boot straight in to, uh, to your desktop here and log you in automatically and do everything for you. And it's automatically going to install VMware Tools. And what VMware Tools is, for any of you that don't know, is that it's going to install some drivers that, you know, make your screen resolution bigger and all that kind of stuff. It's basically just installing a ton of drivers. So, um, this shouldn't take too long, so you're just going to want to uh, let this sit, and it's going to install some things, and then once that is done, it's going to, see, I already just made your screen bigger. I think this may require a restart, but check it out. Yep, it's going to, I think it looks like it was going to restart, yep, it's going to restart your system and it installed the ultimate edition like I told it to already so that is just that's awesome so that's the thing I like about VMware is that it can do all of this for you uh, without you having to do a thing and you're gonna be up and running with the click of a button of powering on the machine so after it restarts it's gonna uh, bring into the 
desktop and logging in automatically and that will complete your successful installation of Windows Vista and VMware. So thank you guys for watching this very quick tutorial. Um, this is definitely a lot quicker than the uh, VirtualBox tutorial of Windows Vista. Uh, leave a like on the video if you guys enjoy these tutorials and also leave your comments for ideas down below that I can try and do for future videos. Um, with beta builds I'm trying to go in order so I know you guys are trying to request specific builds but I'm trying to go in order uh, so I'll get to your specified build of any of the beta operating systems as quick as I can but I'm just trying to go in order so I hope you understand that so um, comment your ideas down below leave a like on the video and do not forget to subscribe once again thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video